What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Seth and today we're going to be playing some Dusk. This game is, for all intents and purposes, a retro shooter that was just recently released. And so because of it, it's very, very tight. The gameplay is really, really cool. And you got some modern touches of being able to actually flip around while you're in the air, slide on the ground like a freak. Generally speaking, this game plays extremely fast. I really, really enjoy it. And just a heads up to our younger audience out there, while it is all pixelated and kind of retro style graphics, this game is pretty gruesome. So it might not be something that I should probably have on a family friendly channel, but I don't care. I just wanted to give you a warning of it. So we're gonna be replaying through I don't know, some of these levels, uh, I've cheated and kind of given myself, uh, well, cheated, I've already beat these levels, so they let me actually pick a loadout of giving myself these other uh, weapons so that we can actually try out all the different guns in the uh, actual video. So normally we're going to end up having a different weapon, which is uh, two sickles in our hands, but we seem to have a sword right now, which I ended up selecting, seems to end up being pretty powerful. Uh, there's gonna be a flashlight. You can pick up literally every item on the ground, gas canisters and explosives and stuff are going to end up being fairly useful because you'll be able to actually use them in the middle of combat. Uh, to actually like attack your enemies and stuff like that and just oh man I, I love this game dude like I love the feel of it I love the look of the levels and the graphics and everything it's just an overall awesome game it plays more like old Quake Half-Life uh, it's just it's so tight dude like I cannot even begin to explain how good the controls are and how well it plays because when I when I first got this game I was thinking oh well this game seems kind of interesting maybe we'll check it out and uh, I don't know and then well, as soon as I ended up playing it, like everybody else in all the Steam reviews, I couldn't put this game down. Like, I've just been playing it non-stop in all my extra time, because they did a fantastic job with it. You can get the game for pretty cheap as well. It's only, like, maybe, uh, well, it's 20 bucks for me, but I'm Canadian, so rip. Uh, as we're gathering the gold, we're getting morale. Uh, uh, I honestly don't even know what that's for. I haven't even played that far into the game. I love these levels! These types of levels are my absolute favorite, where we actually get to, you know, experience, like, the beautifulness that is the environment. So normally you start with one shotgun, but we just picked up a second one because I cheated and gave myself a loadout, right? Uh, so now we actually get a full-on dual wielding. And I love sliding on the ground, that's absolutely insane. Speaking of which, there was an explosive barrel. It's really, really tight, The very easy to dodge the abilities, but at the same time, if you're not uh, careful, you can get very overwhelmed, because this game it treats you like you're good at these types of shooter games, dude. Like, seriously. Hey, wait a minute. I saw a skull over there. To be or not to be? Get out of here, skeleton. What a massacre. Oh, because it's a chainsaw, right? Chainsaw massacre. It's, it's a pun on the movie and everything like that. But either way, I absolutely love it. The guns and everything feel great. You can destroy most of the environment. At the beginning, you saw... Uh, well, maybe you saw, but we accidentally blew open a wall. Because there's secrets all over these levels, which is what's so cool about this game. Because it's very, very retro. Because it's like, you can end up going into a secret area and getting your hands on... Oh my gosh, this sword actually charges? That's awesome. I haven't gotten this sword normally in the campaign. Oh, it blocks too! Oh, that's beautiful! Dude, seriously. Uh, but... When you go and find secrets and stuff, uh, ultimately it's going to end up giving you weapons earlier than when you would normally end up getting them in the campaign. So I'll just play through a couple of these levels and just enjoy it myself because why not? Yes! Get absolutely destroyed, creatures! So we just ended up picking up some super bonus item, which does end up still draining our ammo. It didn't give us infinite, but think of it as a kind of berserk mode where it just lets us shoot like a madman. Super fast reload times, which I mean dare I even say that this game has reloads not really because more so we're just We shoot and we can press R to reload just for fun uh, There's you know, they got a lot of things that you can end up changing in your options as well So if you don't want to be able to uh, for example, if I can show you this you can actually flip uh, I'm not good at it yet though. I'm it's not like something that you're used to doing in shooters so but you can you can really do like I'm really excited to actually see some speed runs of this game, dude, because you can end up doing some pretty crazy stuff. Uh, you can throw boxes and junk at enemies, though it doesn't end up necessarily helping you too too much. Uh, the double barrel shotgun, of course, is just kind of a staple hold of these types of games. And uh, I just oh man, what can I even say? Oh gosh, I gotta be careful about those guys. So let's actually swap over. This is the hunting rifle. Normally you get it a little bit later. 
It's kind of like the sniper of the game ends up doing uh, pretty good damage to the enemies as well. And we got a big hedge uh, field or corn maze over there that we're trying to get and try and have to deal with in a moment. But you can use this very effectively in close range as well. And generally, all the guns are very capable, which is what I like about it. I know this is here. Come on. Ha! And with all the guns being as capable as they are, it's extremely fun to play. Get out of here, weird chainsaw idiot. Let me grab all this junk. And speaking of a flip to rupee, whoop. Ow. Man, you could do some crazy skill shots. If I was any good at this game, I would have been able to actually take that guy out while I was flying in the air. That would have been really cool. Let's grab that, grab that. Oh, that uh, ended up giving us some more morale. So there's all sorts of secrets and stuff, not to mention tons and tons of references. This right here is a reference to Silent Hill. So it's just, it's so cool for somebody like myself because of course I'm a, I'm an older fellow, but I, I just absolutely love this game, dude. Even as far as like, the, like these, this is the type of game that I grew up with. That's why I'm like all over it, dude. So anyways, there's a big secret in the corn maze as well. Uh, there's also going to end up being key doors that you have to go and get. Uh, well, key doors. You gotta go and get keys that you can end up using to open those doors, which uh, becomes a little bit of more of a problem later on. Because as you end up playing uh, further and further, obviously it's going to end up requiring more and more different variants of keys and junk. Oh gosh. Music's absolutely beautiful too. Fits it very well. Did I hear you? Okay, and then let's actually swap over to a different weapon. So this crossbow weapon is kind of like a, it's kind of like the pulse rifle of video games of old where it's going to not only shoot through enemies, but it's gonna shoot through walls as well. So you can use it to just absolutely wreck everything if you end up lining up your shot properly but it's also going to end up doing a lot of damage for that long range. And oh man, the enemies later on end up getting really, really cool and scary at the same time. There's all sorts of different bosses that you're gonna end up running into as well. Grenade launcher, yes! Uh, and then we got, of course, rocket launcher. And I think that's going to end up being all of our different weapons, honestly speaking. Aha! But they, they just feel great. You know, uh, I'm gonna have to try to balance out the volume uh, for you guys and for the YouTube video, but uh, sitting and playing this with these uh, puppies, like these headphones, it's like, oh man, it just, it, it sounds so good. So that item right there just gave us hollowed health. I'm pretty sure that just gives us like a ton of health. Honestly speaking, the game doesn't really hold your hand and it doesn't really explain half of the items that you're picking up. I just know, oh, this must be a good item. Oh, whoopsie daisy. The first time I came through here, that scarecrow tricked me before as well. There's also multiple difficulties, which I don't know whether or not they give you like more opponents to fight or if they just outright give you, you know, less health towards you or more damage that the enemies end up doing towards you. And you can see right there, zero out of six secrets, very much like the old school Doom. You know, I grew up with Doom 2. I also grew up, there was a game called Blood, and that's what this game really reminds me of. That game never really got particularly popular, but it was still a game that I was really, really into. And kind of the same as Duke Nukem, you know, uh, in the vein of all those different types of games, right? Like, anybody who ended up growing up with these knows instantly that this game is a classic. And honestly speaking, I'd recommend even... Even you kids that want, like, a faster-paced shooter and stuff like that, it's definitely worth picking this one up. Most definitely. Oh gosh, that's right. So we gotta go into this area. And I love how fast it plays. Like, it's like, if you know what you're doing, you can just run in and go, go, go. You know, like that's that's what I love because most shooters don't let you do this in the, uh, this day and age, dude. And it's just, I'm so into it. Super duper into, okay, that's bad. Is that grenade going to explode? Ah, ah, it did, it exploded. So normally this is where we get our assault rifle. Okay, okay, let's try and deal with this. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark here. That's all right, well it is, you stupid rats. The game also has different uh, visual options as well. I guess I should show you guys this before we end up calling it for the video. I don't want to show you too, too much, uh, but you can change all the look. So they've got a bunch of different presets for uh, the graphic style. So this is actually the default. Uh, I actually ended up changing it. Normally it's kind of nitty gritty like that, uh, but you can also end up swapping over to a noir, which is kind of a darker, less uh, color, sepia, vivid, uh, sterile, cold, like all these different uh, visual options. And I, I just kind of pick the default. 
and then I just kind of customize this myself. So I just bring up the brightness and don't look at the background itself. Look at the picture that we're seeing right here as the way that you can gauge kind of what it, it, we're going to end up seeing. So put a little bit of the contrast and there you go. It, it kind of is a little bit overly saturated, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, they also do have options as well for where is it so camera animations uh, you know as you're swiping over and your weapon swaying uh, different difficulties as well uh, vertical flipping so you can just disable that outright that's that flipping forward thing uh, there's water controls it's just gonna end up being the standard stuff and I think it's also in the look uh, there's customizing the crosshair so you can change the style of it uh, it's gonna end up being down here you can change the scale the uh, weapon based style so it's gonna be different based on all the different weapons there's there's also advanced display things so you can turn on um, uh, bilinear bloom which is going to end up putting a little bit more light on the background and stuff same with light flares retro uh, palette is going to end up kind of bringing the colors down a little bit low spec mode is just for whatever computer you got running and then you can always uh, make the game like totally like totally retro cool like this is what old games used to be like which is actually pretty neat that they give you that option like i love the fact that this game fully embraces what it's about or you can turn it all the way off and now you can see everything's really sharp really clean you know with oh man that bloom is a little bit too much for me but anyways you get the idea right it's an absolutely awesome game and it's a steal for like i think i got it for like 18 bucks because it was on sale uh when it first came out that might still actually be on right now i'm not exactly sure but Highly recommend it if you're into these old school types of shooters, Half-Life and stuff like that. However, I do want to mention just as a closing thought that uh, I wish that this game had a proper co-op. It does have multiplayer, but in the form of deathmatch. So if that's your cup of tea, if you want to play a game like this, fast paced fighting other people, by all means go for it. But for somebody like myself personally, I like playing against like bots and stuff like that, right? Thanks for watching, though, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell. There will be links in the description for everything about this game, including if you want to support me anyways, a link down below to my merch, uh, as well as if you want to support me, you know, so sponsor the YouTube channel, you can hit that join button. And if you don't have any money, but you still want to help me out, check out the link down below the Gawk Box, which is a way you can donate to me for free. Sign on and stay epic, everybody.